Hello everyone, today I'm going to be taking you through a few steps on how to host an image on the web. Whether you're trying to post an image onto a blog, need some images for your web page design, or just trying to put together an online photo album, Imager is good for you. Okay, so first things first, uh, we're going to pull up the web page here and we're going to need to get registered. Up in the top right of the screen there are two links, one for signing in and one for registering. Click the one that says register. As you can see on the left side of the screen, you can begin to fill in all your information and create an account from scratch. You can also choose to link your account directly from your Twitter, Facebook, Gmail, or Yahoo account. Today we're going to create one from scratch, so insert your username here. I'll go with the man, enter my email here, my password, somehow I'll decipher this text, and agree to register. Okay, so somebody has my username. I need to come up with something else. Let's go with the man1337 instead. Click agree to the ser terms of service, type in this text, and click register. Alright, now that we're in, let's upload some images. First, we're going to do the techniques most people are going to be used to. Up in the top right of the screen, you can click on the computer button, which pulls up this window, where you can find an image to upload. Let's click down here on pictures and go into sample pictures. Uh, let's go with this one here of the koala, that's pretty nice. Select image and then click open. Voila! The picture is now in your account. <laughs> okay, step two. Let's import a picture directly from the web. We're going to go to google.com slash images and search for zebras. Alright, this one's pretty nice. You can right click on it, copy the image location. After you've done that, go back to our imager tab, click the web button. You can choose to right click paste or you can press Control V which puts our URL in the image box. Third, I'm going to show you a fancy way of taking an image off the computer and uploading it to image. What we're going to do here is open our sample pictures folder again, look it under the My Documents Pictures, click on the dessert, and then I dragged it over to the imager web page. Wait for it to upload here, and then the beautiful desert is now online. Okay, let's get a little bit more fancy once again. I'm going to try to upload multiple pictures at one time. By holding control, I'm going to click on the two flowers in the lighthouse. See how they're all selected here? Click and drag one of the selected pictures to the imager website, and you should see a small blue box with a three. Drop the pictures in the website, and all three images are uploaded at once. All right, and uh, last but not least, I'm going to show you a slightly quicker way to upload straight from a web page. Let's grab the title image from this website, GamecockCentral.com. Right-click this title image and copy the image location once again. We're going to pull up our Imager tab and just simply press Control V. The image directly uploads to the website, nice and easy. Okay, so now we're going to talk about how we're going to delete some images. It's a fairly simple process. If you hover over the image, uh, you're going to see a red X. This pulls you into the delete process where you can either hide or delete your images. Let's see, we're going to choose a couple of our images by clicking the red X button and then click the delete, which removes them entirely from the website. Now I'm going to teach you how to create an album. Click on the Albums link at the top of the page, and then click on the blue New Album link in the middle of the screen. A pop-up box should appear with an album title, album descriptions, a few different ways to lay out your album, and also how your album is viewed. I'm going to call my album Tutorial and do a little description. This is a tutorial album. Here are different layouts, a blog layout, the vertical layout, a horizontal layout, and also the grid layout. I like this basic blog style, so we're just going to stick with that. Also, you have a couple of choices, public, hidden, or secret, and I don't mind everyone seeing mine, so we'll stick with public. Okay, let's click save, and you can now choose from the, some of the images that are already associated with your account. I will choose all of them except for the lighthouse, and then I'm going to click save.
Now it is showing our only album, the tutorial album. If you click on it, you can scroll down through all the images in the blog style that we selected. If you want to add an image to your album after the album is already created, what you're going to need to do is once again go to the Albums link. If you hover your mouse over the album you would like to edit, a gear appears in the top right corner of the album. When you click on that, the drop down list appears with multiple ways to edit your album. But for now, we're just going to go with the Change Images. It initially pulls up all the images in the album, but you can sort between the images that are not in albums or all the images in your account. I click the lighthouse and then click Saved, and now that image is added to our tutorial album. You can scroll down and see it here at the bottom. Okay, so now that we have our images all on Imager, what do we actually want to do with them? If you click on the images link at the top of the page to view all the images, when you click on an image, it pulls up multiple different ways to access your image. There are two ways to post your link in an email, slash Facebook, or instant message. There's a way to post to HTML, and also two different ways to post to message boards. There's also even a way to post specifically to Reddit for a comment. But I'm just going to show you how to post an image on a blog. Let's pull up my blogspot.com website and create a sample blog. Let's see here. I'm going to open it up and create a new post. And what should I title it? I will title it Tutorial Blog. Click on the HTML tab and post what we copied from Imager. Click Save and let's see what it looks like. Okay, so you see that it now is in the background of the blog straight from the imager. Well, uh, that was a basic introduction to image hosting. Thank you for your time and I hope that you feel ready to post your images all throughout cyberspace.